a radiation oncology medical physicist. We work closely with our colleagues, radiation therapists and radiation oncologists in a team environment to ensure the best care is provided to the patients. Medical physicists are responsible for ensuring the accuracy and safety of all treatment equipment and treatment software. Medical physicists are also actively involved in research and clinical trials. Through the application of physics concepts in healthcare, we ensure patients are provided with the highest quality treatments available. I wanted to become a radiation oncology medical physicist because I like the way that they work in a multidisciplinary team and what they do has, can have a direct impact on the quality of treatment patients receive. So physicists are instrumental in researching and developing and then through to the implementation of better radiation oncology treatment techniques. We actually have our medical physicists come into the clinic and see patients with us in those circumstances. They're actually part of the multidisciplinary team with, with um, surgeons and radiologists. So I think the unique perspective of their knowledge of how radiation beams interact um, brings a new dimension to how we assess patients for treatment. So on a day-to-day -day basis, we could be uh, performing quality assurance on our treatment machines, for example, checking the calibration, checking the spatial accuracy of the treatment delivery. We could be checking the quality of a treatment plan that was developed by radiation therapists. We could check the plan in the sense of how accurately it could be delivered uh, by our treatment machine. We could also be working on managing the commissioning of a new treatment technology or the research and development toward a new uh, treatment technology. So it helps patients primarily by ensuring that the dose delivered to the patient is what was prescribed by the radiation oncologist, which is very important for the patient outcome. So the medical physics profession, we're driven to ensure patient safety is not compromised. With the patient in mind, our quality assurance programs on treatment devices ensure that the patient's treatment is delivered with high precision. Through research programs, our profession is also finding better ways to treat with the tools at our disposal. Our role enables high quality care throughout the health system. This is achieved through safety systems implemented by the profession. Our contribution to the field allows our fellow colleagues to confidently treat patients with higher doses and higher accuracy. So our role adds value to the health system by ensuring patient safety. It ensures the ongoing quality improvement of treatment in radiotherapy and it ensures that cutting edge techniques are translated to the clinic. I think what these advancements through the medical physics um, you know, training and the research that they do has allowed from a patient point of view is for me to more safely escalate radiation dose to tumours when needed and that can lead to better cure of cancers but it can also mean that we avoid irradiating areas that we don't need to treat uh, more carefully and that ultimately leads to fewer side effects for patients not only going through the treatment but also long term and that's especially important for children and young patients. The most exciting thing for me in radiation oncology right now is particle therapy. So that's using protons or in Westmead's case carbon ions. Um, we definitely need radiation oncology medical physicists to translate this um, technology from universities to the patient. For the patient, this means we can treat tumours even more precisely with fewer side effects. And carbon ions are particularly interesting because they can potentially treat tumours that are resistant to radiation treatment. I see medical physicists involved in the lab at the hospital helping us demonstrate that on cells before we see it in patients as well. Okay.